Good morning, actually, good afternoon, everyone. It's 12.05. I have been up, but I have just kind of been like lounging. Not such a great thing to do on a Monday. I had all these things planned that I wanted to do today, but I'm having some terrible chest pain, more like back pain. And I had it before, I had it right before Robbie and I got married. They said it was due to stress. I'm also working on some stuff here and watching YouTube while I do it. But, um, so I've been having and dealing with that this morning and it's kind of kept me down for a little bit. So now I'm up and getting ready. I just edited a video that's going live tonight, um, Monday, October 7th. This video will probably go live Monday, October 14th. So by the time this video comes out, there will have been three other videos that you can watch. I'm gonna try and do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'm not going to like commit myself to that because that just never ends well. So. I am actually, I just ordered my lunch to be delivered to me because I were so busy today. I called my OB to see if I could have Icy Hot and she insisted that I had to go to the doctor. Even though I'm pretty sure I know what this is, I've had it before, she's like, you need to go to the doctor, you never know when it comes to pregnancy. So I have to go to my primary care doctor and that's at two o'clock. So that kind of throws a wrench in all my plans. I had two other things that I wanted to do today. Number one, I wanted to clean up our room. It is horrendous like I have never ever 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 let our room get this bad ever let our room get this bad it has just got like clean clothes everywhere um luckily they're all clean it also has like shopping bags from Target and motherhood maternity my mom came into town a couple weeks ago and took me shopping there but I don't have room in my closet for them so I have to clean out my closet with clothes that currently don't fit add my maternity clothes in there so that was one thing that I wanted to do today. And the second thing that I wanted to do today, which was going to be my reward for doing the first thing, was set up our Halloween decorations. Wow, that sounded really country. Set up our Halloween decorations. Um, I have a lot of really cute stuff outside that I want to put up outside, but I haven't had the chance to do it. And so at some point today, I'm going to get that done. Not to mention, when Robbie comes home today, it's Chick-fil-A Monday. We always have Chick-fil-A on Mondays. I will show you what I get there. Um, I am now getting to the point where I can eat back to like my normal stuff like salads and greens and not feel like it tastes like dirt so I'll show you what I get there so while I'm waiting for my Chipotle to get to me I'm gonna be doing some check-in calls don't you just love the age that we live in I can sit at my desk and work while my food is being delivered to me so nice I also love the fact that I don't have to cook today at all at all none it's great so I'm gonna sit here and do my check-in calls and do some Optavia work and then have my lunch break and then head off to the doctor. But I will definitely fill y'all in on what they actually say is going on with my body. I'm pretty sure it's just the exact same thing that happened when I got married. It's just stress. And I will show you the outside Halloween decorations. So hope you're having a wonderful Monday so far because this should be going up on Monday for you. And I'm sorry that I've talked so long for the first couple minutes. <laughs> if you are pregnant and need to speak to the OB nurse, press one. If you're recording. Hi there, this is Mallory Sarvis again. I did go to the doctor and I'm just calling. They asked me to call and make sure that the medication that they're putting me on is okay for pregnancy. Um, they wanna put me on hydrocodone and before I take it, I would really love to know and they also wanted me to call to make sure that that was totally okay for pregnancy. Okay, so surprisingly that was actually pretty quick because this, doc this doctor's office can sometimes take forever but the doctor is super nice and I just basically told him like I'm only coming in here because my OB nurse said that I had to come in here and he was like well it doesn't sound like you broke a rib what would I have done to break a rib um and so he's putting me on a narcotic which I'm not sure I'm okay with but I'm not getting any sleep and so he's like you need to sleep this is the only thing that's gonna make this get any better sorry I'm short of breath and it really does hurt to breathe and um so he wants to put me on a narcotic to help me sleep Obviously, I'm not getting enough sleep. Um, so I, but he asked me to call my OB nurse to make sure that that medication was okay for pregnancy. So I'm gonna go pick it up because it'll be a while before they'll call back, and then I'm gonna head home. And I think I'm gonna do my Halloween decorations because I can always do my bedroom tonight when it gets dark, but I can't do my Halloween decorations. So I'm gonna do that. Plus, I just want to do it. Okay, I know that the lighting is terrible, but let me just tell you, I have the greatest job. I'm gonna turn left here because I can see there's a lot of traffic ahead. Um, I have the greatest job ever, like ever. 
I have a crazy, crazy Monday. Um, well, not crazy, crazy, but like stuff I gotta do and um, chores I gotta do at home. But I love that I'm able to, number one, do that while I'm doing all that. So I've been doing check-in calls on the way back from the appointment and the lady that I was just talking to, I adore her. We have been coaching client and friends for like a year now, maybe longer, I think longer actually. And she is just the sweetest person. She has chickens and so she was talking about her chickens and how she said, can you hear my chickens in the background? And I said, yes I can. She said, well they're announcing somebody laid an egg. And I cracked up because I was thinking like, oh it's like somebody announcing that they're pregnant. She said, she didn't even lay it. Another one laid it and she's announcing that she laid an egg. Oh my gosh, it made me laugh so hard. And we always talk about the weather. I, I just met you. Another check in. Okay. It is time. There we go. It is time for me to finally set up our Halloween decorations. It feels, side note, amazing outside. Like it's in this, it's in the 80s, but it feels, there's a breeze. Ah, I'm happy. So I'm going to get everything set out. I went a little crazy with my Halloween decorations. My neighbor's coming out. Never met her. I now have a camera. It's kind of weird. Um, I went a little crazy, but I actually stayed within our budget. So my tip is go to Walmart first or Target first, then go get what you actually like, the bigger things that are. So I like bought all of our decorations at Walmart and then got our one animatronic thing from the Spirit Halloween store, cause it's expensive. So let me just show you everything we got. I'm gonna get it all set up. Hopefully it won't take me too, too long, but it's okay. Okay, so this is not going as I planned. <laughs> our ground, because it's not rained in forever, is like super dry, and our only hose is in the backyard, and I can't get it off. So I'm gonna have to have Robbie help me with that. Fortunately, he's on his way home. And I also need an extension cord because my little T-Rex friend that I got to kind of be the comedic relief, because it's gonna be kind of scary, or I want it to be kind of scary. Um, he doesn't have a very long cord, so let me just show you what he looks like. I've named him Ty the T-Rex. But he cannot stay there. I mean, I guess he could, but... No, I don't want him to stay there. I want him to be in the middle of the cemetery. And like his tail is kind of in the way. So, I don't know. Let me just get the rest of the stuff like out so Robbie can help me later on. have to wait for Robbie because the ground is just too dry. If I could get that hose off, I could do this, but nope. Plus my back is really starting to hurt. So I do want to plug in that say something something ghoul. Oh that stinking T-Rex. He's supposed to go in the yard where you can stake him down and have the stakes, but his Ty the T-Rex is drunk. 
not Lori. <laughs> I just have to laugh because I have these like grandiose plans and then I can't get any of it done because the ground and I just need my husband. So I do want to plug in this ghosting ghoul or whatever it's called because I want to see what it looks like. I bought it in the store but I didn't actually see one on display but I just knew it would work really well with a theme that I wanted to do here. So let me plug that in we can at least look at that while we're waiting for Robbie to get home. Let's see if we can get this done. Uh, where is Robbie? If I can just break this thing. It's not cheap. No, I think I just skinned the skeleton's nose. It'll make it look more realistic anyway. Okay. I'm going to read the instructions. Any of my neighbors that are watching probably think I'm crazy. There's like half done Halloween decorations all over the yard. And I think I broke a tombstone. This is just comical at this point. Jeez. What are we, building a rocket? Stay clear of the prop while operating. Why, is it gonna kill me? External speaker? This is hardcore. Here's the mechanism. Attach the mechanism to the plastic base located on the back of the tombstone. Part B. Run, Morris! Run! Robbie, help anyone. Okay, I'll see you when Robbie gets here. My hero. He came home. And I was like, talking like, this is wrong and this is wrong and this is wrong. And he goes, what do you want me to work on first, or right now? And I know he's hungry, so we'll f probably finish this one and then come back and finish this after dinner. Well, we've been defeated. Huh? We've been defeated by hunger. Not defeated. Really Delayed. Set back. Mama's hungry, Robbie's hungry. We gotta go eat. So we're gonna go grab Chick-fil-A. Okay, so Monday, when Robbie and I were dating, this is a little fun fact, when Robbie and I were dating, we had Chick-fil-A every Monday. And back then I'd always get like chicken strips and stuff. Now I'll be honest with you, it varies. Sometimes if I'm feeling pregnant that day and I want to have something, um, then I'll get a sandwich. Well, I don't even know if I was getting myself. I'll get like a sandwich or I'll get, you know, chicken strips. Lately though, if I'm being good, <laughs> I'll get a spicy Southwest chicken salad. And I really like that. So I think that's what I'll get tonight, who knows. I'm actually really hungry, so I may get some fruit or something else to go with it. Also really out of breath because I can't take a deep breath. Robbie put this together, let me show you. Graveyard ghoul, and you see there's like hands, and then over here, when you pull his hair back, and he, I don't know, he makes noise. We don't know, we need the batteries. So we're gonna have to get batteries at the store, but I say we go eat first, yes. and then we go run our errands, because I was not that hungry, and now, I'm really hungry and I know you're hungry, so. You might wanna take the screwdriver out of your pocket. It could be considered a weapon. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I forgot my camera, of course. So I'm just using my new phone. Hopefully it's got a really good camera quality and I'll figure that out when I'm editing this. But here is my salad. Let me just turn it around. Okay, so I got a spicy Southwest chicken salad without corn, beans, peppers and tomatoes and then I got some ranch to go with it so that's what I'll have and then because I was feeling really hungry I also got some fries today that doesn't always happen but eh, it's an all right dinner three hours later all right the front yard is done however I am not gonna show it in the dark it's not done it's mostly done we had some issues with the tombstones it's the ghost of our house Robbie you just showed them that there's not really a ghost Oh, okay. Ah! Okay, anyway. <laughs> We're so, so weird. I, so we got the spider web. Actually, I say we. Robbie did a lot of this, mostly because I am in pain and also tired. But also, he had to like get up on a ladder and I needed his manliness to and hammer down those stakes in the really hard ground. So we got Ty the T-Rex put up. Don't worry, he's no longer drunk. He is sleeping right now. We decided not to keep him on all night. And we got the spider web put up and the spider on it. We had to redneck rig it with some <laughs> um, 
redneck rig. We had to redneck rig it with some zip ties. Robbie, say that 12 times fast. Redneck rig, redneck rig. Redneck rig, 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 redneck rig. Three hours later. Anyway, we got the ghoul put together. He works, he's pretty creepy. And that's it. We are Halloweenified. Did you just find the last Kit Kat? Mine! He was supposed to take this bag of candy to work with him. He did not. Kit Kats are my favorite. Anyway, all right, y'all. I will show you tomorrow. And I'm actually, I may, no, thank you. I'm okay. Thank you for that, though. I might actually just continue this vlog tomorrow, depending on, no! Depending on, do not tempt me. Not today, Satan. Depending on how much footage I have. But we'll see. I'll definitely show you the yard tomorrow in the daytime when Ty is awake. So, see you tomorrow. Okay, so here's the sign that we bought um, from Goliad Market Days this weekend. Actually, we bought it from a friend of my mom's that she teaches with. She had so many really, really cute signs. I'm going to link her stuff down below. She's an Instagram. It's called Because of Harvey. It's actually really cute because she and her husband, or her, she and her fiance, she and her boyfriend, I don't know if they're married, um, they actually met because of Harvey. And then they started these signs. So I have one that says Halloween, and my mom and sister got one that's like fall related. And then we have Ty, Ty the T-Rex. He's just a blow up dinosaur. Um, he actually did really well in the windstorm, but he's really cute. Robbie wants to find some way to like put red over the pumpkin and use him for Christmas too. But I bet we could find some kind of blow up T-Rex that's Christmas related. But he was really cute and he's really easy and he would just turn him on in the evening and then turn him off right before we go to bed. This is our spider web. You can see that it's attached to the very top of our balcony up there. And then it comes all the way out into the yard. Unfortunately, it comes from Walmart and they didn't really like sew these together. This is like made and put together with hot glue. So we did have a couple up there that you can see that kind of came undone. But you can also see our creepy spider, Steve. Let me give you a closer look. The thought was that when you're like walking up to the door, if you're not paying attention, all of a sudden, ah! there's a spider right in front of you so um, he's actually kind of creepy looking he has red eyes Ugh. but Robbie had to zip tie him up here so that he would stay I need to trim those this is the last thing that we have we were gonna put tombstones in the yard but because it had, hadn't rained in a really long time the stakes weren't staying in the ground and they're made of um, styrofoam so they just really they weren't having a very good time but we do have this guy and I can show you him he's the creepiest of our decor There's a bug in his hair. I'm always watching you. I'm hunting you. Oh, I just want to go turn off um, the graveyard ghoul. His name is Gary. Gary the graveyard ghoul, and he had a live grasshopper in his hair. Ugh, I hate grasshoppers. I hate bugs, but I hate grasshoppers in general. Anyway, so that is our Halloween decor for this year. I'm hoping to each year like add a little more to it, but we'll see how things go. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a comment down below, like it, subscribe if you're new, but I want to say that I love you all and God bless you.